What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Human Resource Machine. We are going right back into Equalization Room. Oh boy. Sometimes some numbers are bigger than other numbers, and sometimes they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here in this great book, which number are you, for the aspirational zero. You can borrow it later. Get two things from the inbox. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. You got comments. You can use them, if you like, to mark sections in your program. Hello, world. Wow. Okay, so... We need to get something from the inbox. I don't want hello, world. And we need to put it... right there. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Um... So, let's see. We get that and we put it there. I know that we have to do that at the very least. And then we have to figure out if they're equal. And then we go, oh, I see, and then we go inbox, copy from right there. No, because then it would it wouldn't work. Never mind. Let's see, what can I what can I write the things here? Get thing. My handwriting is terrible even more on a computer. Get get thing, yeah. So we get the thing, and then we put it right there. What do you have to say? You're doing just fine. I don't have a favorite employee. I enjoy supervising them all equally. Wow. Do I have to use add and subtract? So uh, it, we now have the first number here. If we add... No, that that's not going to do anything useful. Then we have to get the second number. And we have to figure out how to see if that is equal to the other number. Do we then just copy it to there and then outbox it? No. How do we check if they're the equal, if they're the same? I don't know. Okay, I just, I wanted to see if it actually works, and it does. Um... Inbox. Jeez, how do you do this? So if we put a 3 there, and I get the 6, how do I check to see if the 6 is the same as the 3? I could copy it to there, and then pick up the 3, and then... Um, uh, add six, multiply, no, I can't, I don't have a multiply, why am I saying multiply? If I add six to it, then I would have nine. I don't know why I'm even thinking about that. Do, do I have lifelines? Can I phone a friend anywhere? I think I need to phone a friend. No, no phone a friend, okay. Okay, so we have to get the thing from the thing, and then we have to copy it down somewhere. And then we get the next thing. Now what do we do with that next thing to see if it is the same as that thing? We need to add and subtract in some way. Wait a second. Oh, oh, okay, I see. So we get the first one. And then we get the second one. 
and we copy the second one to one. So now we have both numbers. And then we have the second number and we I have to jump if zero somewhere. Right? That's how I do this. It's a jump if zero. So, we have both of them copied here. Four, one. Now what do I do to the one to make it zero? I would have to minus one. So subtract from there. Then add the first one, which makes it four. Wait, I don't have to make it equal. I just have to see if they are equal. Yeah, I have to see if they're equal. So if I subtract from there... No, a new version of anti-malware bytes. I don't want you right now. I'm busy. If it's zero... Then go to the outbox. If not, start over. I think this is it. So it's gonna place the four, then it's gonna go to the one, and it's gonna copy it down. Then it's gonna subtract. If it's zero, it'll go out. Now it'll place the four. Oh wait, I messed this up a bit. It's supposed to copy, and then... I need, I need to get a copy in there. There we go. This'll work. Watch. So it'll get the 4. And then it'll get this 4, and it'll place it here. And it'll subtract it, and if it's 0, then it'll copy it, and it'll put it in the outbox. What? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell it to jump to the beginning. So 4 and 7. So it's gonna subtract, and it's gonna be not 0, so it's just gonna jump back to the beginning. And it's gonna try again. I was gonna say, hey, 5 minus 5 is 0. So we're gonna copy that 5, throw it in the outbox, then start over. It's gonna be like, hey, 0 and negative 4, subtract, it ain't gonna be the same number. So, yeah. Yeah, this is right. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I don't care. I do not care. Don't care at all. Maximization room. I don't care. There's been a change of plans! The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants, to, wants the big numbers only. Grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger number of the two in the outbox. If they are equal, just pick either one. Repeat. You got a new command. Jumps only if the thing you're holding is negative. Less than zero. Otherwise, continues to the next line. So, inbox, copy two. Right there. Inbox, copy two. Right there. Now, how do we see if either of these are bigger? It's gonna have to do with another subtraction. Then we subtract from the first one. Well, we subtract the first one from it. And if it's a negative... Jump... To copy from... Here... And outbox. If it's zero... Jump to copy from an outbox. At the very end, we need to jump to the beginning. And if it isn't, then do from the beginning. I think I got it. I think I got it. First one done. I think technically this will work, but it isn't right. 
Like it's not right the way that I did it. But I think it I think this will work fine. Did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did it. I think I did it. Ah, oh, I didn't. I wasn't even focusing on that. I wasn't even focusing on that. And it's stupid. It's stupid. I'm stupid. Why didn't it work? So this technically worked. So if you look at that and that technically works, there you go. So inbox, copy to, right there. Inbox, copy to, right there. Then we take this one. Or what if we copy from here and add it to this one? No, I don't want to add, I want to subtract. Subtract from that. No, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's all stupid. I don't really care which numbers are bigger or smaller. I get paid the same no matter what. That's not helpful. So we have the two numbers. How do we see if one is bigger? We add the second one to the first one. Yeah? No, that's not right. Do we have to subtract from it? No, don't subtract from yourself. It's stupid. Why would you do that? That might be right. Is it right? If I subtract a number from itself, it's gonna be zero. It's gonna be zero. What? It's not gonna do anything. And if it's negative... If I add it to itself, it'll be bigger. It's not what we want. But if I add it to itself, it'll be double what it was, and then I subtract the first one. So let's see, if I double the 8, it'll be 16, and then I subtract the 4, it'll be 12. But if I double this one and then subtract it, it'll be... Wait, what? How? How? How do I... How to? How to do? I don't get it. Look, this worked! It worked! Is it gonna work again? If it works again... Okay, it didn't work again. Never mind. Shut up. Shut up! It worked. And we copy from the first one. And we subtract this one. If it is negative, or if it is zero, copy from here and go to the out box. Otherwise, jump to the beginning. And then at the end, jump to the beginning. That's right. That's 100% right. That's 100% right. What? Okay, let's let's play this out. Let's play this out. Let's play this out. So 1, copy it there. 3, copy it there. If we subtract it, it is a negative. So we copy it. Oh, because I have it backwards. I want to add. Wait, no. That's not what I want to do. Subtract from there, but we want to copy from...
There. All right? So, if this turns out to be a negative... Wait, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. If you sub wait, if you subtract a negative from a negative, does that make a positive? I think it does, right? It's it's been a while since I took a math class, all right? Give me a break. So if you have a negative 5, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I have to do this right now and you subtract a negative 5. Okay, yeah, it, it does that. Is he going to tell me it only works with these outputs? These numbers? Because it shouldn't. Fuck off! And it was even different than the other one! It's different than the other one! Not a whole lot, to be entirely honest. Whatever, it's stupid. It's all stupid. Inbox. Copy it. Right there. At the very least, we copy that. Inbox. Because we need both numbers. And we want to make sure it's always right. Like, it, we're always doing safe things. So we always need a backup. And if we subtract... the number... from itself, we have zero. If it's zero... what can we do? And then we add the first number. Wait, 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 wait. So we copy both of them. If this is that, and it's if it's zero, you can jump to the outbot. Uh, well, you have to copy from one of them. And then go to the outbox. So that is if they're equal, just pick either one and go. And we start from the beginning. So that, at the very least, gets me my ones that are equal. So that stays. Copy. Thanks. We're gonna paste it right there. So if I screw this up horribly, this gets me my equal. So now, if they are not equal, if they are a 3 and an 8, the 3 will be there, the 8 will be there. If I subtract the 8 from the 3, or the 3 from the 8, it'll be 5. So what can I do with the 5? Well, if it's 0... So let's say, if it was an 8 and a 9. Let's just pretend if it was an 8 and a 9 and I subtracted this and it was negative, I would want it to go to the outbox. I want the 9 to go to the outbox. But if it was an 8 and a 9, or a 9 and an 8, I subtracted it, it would be 1. If we're an 8 and a 9, or a 9 and an 8, I would subtract it. No, wait, if it's an 8 and a 9. Oh my god. If it's an 8 and a 9. Sorry, if it, let's just do it easier. It's a 1 and a 2. And the 2 is subtracted. You subtract the 1, it's, it's a 1. So if that's the case, I want to get the 2. It's not negative. It's positive. I want to copy from there. Go to the outbox and jump to the beginning. But if it's a 2 and a 1 and I do that and it's negative, I want it to uh, this will work. 
please. Yes! Yeah! Oh, that was terrible for my throat. Oh, that was bad. Oh, my goodness. I did it. Uh. We still have so much more to go. <laughs> well, my name is Nagark. We will watch this cutscene next time and maybe go to the exclusive lounge. This is Human Resource Machine, and thank you for watching.